Matt here with Atlas Precision Consulting. In today's video, I'm going to talk about item history and how to update it at a location item level. Uh, now, this is not the importing of item history, which you are able to do as well, uh, but it's a little bit more complicated, uh, and I do not recommend just anybody trying to do that. Uh, in this example, I'm just going to pull in my location. I'm going to pull in an item. And you're going to see that this item has no actual usage. Um, basically, this, this item has no real history. Uh, the, the purpose of this screen is you can come in, the, the main reason is you can come in here and you can use this uh, filtered usage column. Uh, this allows you to override whatever you actually really sold or didn't sell. Uh, this can be used for a couple different things. Say you had a huge sell on something, um, but you meant to not capture the usage on it, um, but you did accidentally capture the usage on it, you could come in here and basically drop your filtered usage down so it doesn't wildly throw off your calculations. Um, and you can also see because this item has no history, uh, there is no forecast usage. Uh, so I'm gonna show you that if I come in here and really for uh, demand to really calculate and, and start doing correctly, you need at least 12 months of history. Uh, up to three is preferred. Uh, but in this example, I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to fill in some numbers ju just so you guys can see what it's going to do. We have now traveled into the future. Uh, you can see I have about 12 months um, filled out of uh, actual filtered usage. I have checked the recalculate box because we're going to want to recalculate to make sure uh, that we are capturing and updating our forecast usage. Um, and you also would probably want to update the demand pattern and best fit formula. Uh, you simply just click, click the calculate button. And this will take a second. So let's jump to the future. Now that we're done, our calculations have updated our forecast usage, as you can see here. Um, now, for some reason, if you felt like you fat fingered something or you didn't feel like uh, the numbers came out the way they should have, whatever the reason, you can always click the undo button and that'll roll them back. Um, but again, if you if you like them, you would just hit save and then they would uh, stick. Uh, if you guys like this, or if you have questions about this video or you wanna see topics in other videos, make sure you put a comment down below. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and Atlas will always be here for your Profit 21 needs.